my head. Without this, the world wouldn't be the same. It would break like a voice in despair, shattering glass. There is a harmony of us here. And that harmony is Mozart's opera, Cosy Van Without this opera having been composed, it would just be a clanging and a banging and, and bedlam all around us. The music of this opera keeps the world in harmony. Hold me the moment, Jerry. Trust me, you come back tomorrow and you'll find we've missed the iceberg and it's sailing in calm waters. It's resolved. And sometimes the music is destroyed. I'm a dream, Jerry. And it's fading. There will be music. Music of the spheres. Come to costume. You are to be a world that was far away from us. this depressing asylum spot. Tea parties, dances now for them, circus performers coming to perform just for me. My mother is Parisian gal, she flirting with the men, waving her fan so fast there was a blur. French tutors, waiters dancing on fingertips, good night lullabies sung to me by my beautiful mother. Summer day, and lemonade brought to me by a maid as I sat on the front veranda. Listening to the piano inside playing the folk song. It's the world I wanted to catch. It's very catchy. But it's gone. The music too. I think it's more true. The most painful matter, Mr. Holmes, the most painful matter. And you say your runaway bride is American? No, and extremely rich. We were, we were walking down the aisle and happy dropped her bouquet. And, oh, uh, happy dropped her bouquet and it was picked up by a very strange man. I was once in Chanty. <laughs> I was once enchanted by an American woman. <laughs> I couldn't tell you more, but uh, firstly, my dash has come off, and I understand there's not much time. <laughs> but, uh, I'm asking for voices to get a move on. All right, you are. I shall solve your problem. You'll take it. The aristocracy from Europe. Oh, I say. Gentlemen, I have, I have a German accent. And my name is Count von Klapp. Yes, we know who you are. Your Majesty. The King? Yeah, I'm the King. I'm soon to be married. But I hear the former lover. Yes, a beautiful woman plans to tell all. The stunning Irene Appa is an opera singer here in London. She will lend photographs send of the two of us to my fiancé, the Princess Scandinavia. What came after terrible German accent? <laughs> have you searched this Irene's house? Yeah, we have searched high and low for the photograph, but it is nowhere found to be the Peter Jackson. <laughs> Find that photograph. Sir. In fact, in the kind of way you might be said to have been jealous of her. Yes, I suppose. And you used the power you had as the daughter of a well-known customer and a man well-known in the town to punish her. Just because she made you feel like that. Yes, but it didn't seem to be anything very horrible at the time. Don't you understand it? And if I could... But you can't. It's too late. She's dead. Oh, I'd like some information, Mr. Burling. Uh, two hours ago, uh, a young girl was taken to the infirmary this afternoon. Uh, she was taken there because she drank a whole lot of strong disinfectant. Burned her insides up, of course. Oh my God. Yes, she was in a great deal of agony. Uh, they did what they could for her at the infirmary, but she died. Suicide, of course. These emotional scenes so exhausting. I should try to space them out a bit more. They want to for ten years. <laughs> oh dear, Richard. What a monstrous egoist he thinks me. He's quite wrong, of course. It's this fatiguing altruism that's driving me to distraction. This relentless compunction to, to entertain. My own pathetic hunger to, to satisfy. I suppose it's a woman in me. I can't take a cab without trying to charm the driver into an erotic frenzy. The humblest ticket clerk isn't allowed to take my ticket. 
without an indelible appreciation of my genius. Well, it's the same when I'm alone. I'm the most pitiless audience I've ever had. I slog myself relentlessly to new heights of performance, crawl exhausted off stage, and then whoop myself back on stage. It's a kind of insanity. Still, better insanity than spontaneity. Spontaneity, our servants can do for us. Time for a change in costume, I think, Jamie. I feel myself growing into a predictable under the armpits. <laughs>